Hello everybody, welcome to my end of the year video. I have never really done these kinds of videos, so I don't know exactly how to do this, but I had a great time with games in 2017, minus Battlefront 2. I gave that back, deservedly so. However, there were other games from 2017 that I really, really enjoyed, and I wanted to list off some of my top six favorite games here tonight before the new year, before the new year arrives. So, without further ado, these are my top six games from 2017. Number six. First off is Friday the 13th. I had... No, I actually had not heard of this game until sometime into 2017 when my friends said they had planned on playing the shit out of it. And I went to go Google it, and it turns out I was actually really excited. I have quite a, num quite a large number of hours in Friday the 13th, and there doesn't seem to be any sign of me stopping soon. I love the fear factor in the game. I like that there are constant updates and attempts to fix it. The game itself is really entertaining. I really enjoy the game itself. The gameplay is great. It's simple. There are very, very tense situations. It's actually really fun to be a counselor. And there's also a ton of replay value in it, too. The games aren't always the exact same. There's not always going to be a one-for-one -one creation of the game that you were just playing. Sometimes you don't always find everything you need to find. And sometimes you don't always escape. And for that, this game gets my sixth spot in my top six games. Number five, Cuphead. Oh boy, oh boy, Cuphead. We all know about this game. At least some of us have heard of it. At least every single one of us has at least heard the name Cuphead. The game came out this year, and boy, oh boy, it was really, really loved. The game itself gained a reputation for being pretty hard at launch. And it still is pretty hard. And you know what? That makes it... And you know what? I enjoyed it for that. I really, really enjoyed it for that. The game is really addictive, and it even looks amazing. Like, I could honestly look at it for a really long time, and it's a great callback to really old cartoons. The music itself is also really good, too. Like, the music really helps you get into the boss battles. I could, if I could, I think I have the soundtrack, and I've actually listened to it a couple times. It's really, really good. It's just that good. And plus, Mugman and Cuphead are just adorable characters. Like, I really love the way they look, and they, they're great characters. And for that, Cuphead gets my number five spot for my top six games. Number four. Number four, Academia. Now, I hadn't initially planned for this to be on the list, but after playing it and getting it for Christmas, I honestly, really, honestly, I was honestly surprised I loved it so much. The game has an amazing soundtrack like Cuphead, but it's a different kind of amazing soundtrack. It's a soothing soundtrack. It, and it's a game I can relax. I, if I want to relax, I can play Academia. I can just watch my school go into motion. If I want to intervene like a god, I can intervene. Or if I just want to watch my students go around and be students. The gameplay is really simple. It's not hard. It's not incredibly into it. You don't need to do everything minutely. And everything is just there, and it works really well. Plus, the game itself, just like the other two, looks really darn good for what it's trying to sell. And for all these reasons and more, Academia gets the fourth spot in my top six games. Number three, Deceit. This was a game I hadn't even really heard of again until 2017. Then my friend brought up that, hey, you know, there's a game called Deceit Out. We should all play together. It's free. So I picked it up, and I really, really liked it. My friends and I began playing it together often, and we actually really, really enjoyed ourselves in this qui in quick matches in horror. So, why do I like Deceit? Well, I like the quick but intense matches. There, There's a sense of alertness in this game that you have to have if you want to succeed. And if you don't have it, or if you aren't prepared, you will be killed by the monsters indefinitely. And this part, in turn, makes trust a huge deal. Like, it's a really big deal to know who you can trust, especially when you know your death could be right around the corner and up to another human being who just happens to be lying about you. There are also plenty of great moments in the game, with traps, uh, quick and tense situations, escaping in the nick of time, that kind of thing. And for that, Deceit gets my number three spot on my top six games. Number two... Injustice 2. Oh boy. I'm not really good at fighting games, but I made an exception for Injustice 2 because I really liked the first Injustice, 
And I'm glad I purchased this game. It's a really, really good game. The fighting is absolutely amazing. It's probably the best fighting game in recent memory, at least to me anyway. And I've seen plenty of fighting games come and go. The game also looks incredible. Like, holy crap, this game looks amazing. And there's also tons of replay value in it too. I could go back and play the campaign a few different times. I could also go into multiplayer and just keep fighting and fighting on. Or if I want to try new heroes, I can do that. And there's also customizable fighters. I love that about this game. And you can even turn off the gear if you don't want to be com in a completely unfair match. And I like that too. And it's a good homage to the new and old heroes of the DC era. And they desperately need this game, don't they? And for all these, Dinjustice 2 gets my number 2 spot. <laughs> fitting. For my top 6 games. And now, for my number 1 choice. Divinity Original Sin 2. Holy shit. If I hadn't heard about this game, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But I watched YouTuber Rags play it and his review of it. So I decided, you know what? I'll go buy it. I really, really like RPGs. So when I bought it, I complete. I wasn't entirely sure what to do. So I jumped into the campaign and holy crap. The game is amazing. The, the music is absolutely incredible. I think it's some of the best music in in my recent memory, at least to date, the visuals look absolutely stunning. The story is really good. There's a fantastic yeah, strategic gameplay element in it, too, with a turn-based game. There's a great editor, although it be a little unapproachable. However, it's still a great editor for making your own maps and mods. There's an amazing tabletop mode for anyone who likes Dungeons & Dragons. And there's a problem-solving element over just regular formulaic killing you might find in other RPGs. And... It's amazing, like it honestly adds more to the game, and there's shitloads of replay value. And plus, best of all, there's multiplayer. I can play with my friends on the tabletop mode in any games I created, or we can go play the story mode in multiplayer. I love that about this game, and for that, and many other reasons that are more personal to me, I put Divinity Original Sin 2 at the top of my list. I'm sure I might have missed games that you guys personally loved in 2017. However, these are, this is just my personal list. It doesn't mean any of the other games that came out in 2017 are bad. These are just the games that I enjoyed the most. I hope you all love it, because I've got more surprises in store for 2018. I hope you all loved this video, and I hope to see you all in 2018. Thank you for watching, and see you all next time. Jason, they deserve to die. Make them suffer like we did. That's my boy. Hunt them down and make them pay.